Hello everyone, welcome to the practice session. So far, we have been practicing exercise one and we discussed steps one to five. In step one, we are trying to observe the imagination and the feeling in particular because we could see that the feeling guides the thoughts, isn't it? So we are trying to observe the imagination and there we tried not to evaluate, not to react, not to change or modify, just observe as it is. In step two, we try to see whether the feeling that I have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not. In step three, we try to see that my current state of being is comfortable or uncomfortable. In step four, we try to observe that who is deciding this feeling. Is it me or something outside? And we concluded that it is me who decides the feeling and thus I am totally responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. And in step five, we try to observe the basis for making the decision about the feeling. And we try to see whether it is right understanding or some preconditioning. And we try to see whether it is right understanding or some assumption. And then we concluded that if I have the right understanding, I feel happy. If the basis is assumption, then I am unhappy. And thus we could see that there's a need to ensure right understanding in the self. So we have done up to this much and now we'll go to discuss steps six and seven. So let us discuss these two steps, step six and seven. And step seven is the final step of exercise one. So after having discussed step seven, we'll try to look at the conclusions also. So these are the seven steps which we are discussing one by one. So in step six, we are trying to work out that there's a need for ensuring right understanding to ensure right and natural feeling. And what is to be understood, we are trying to make out. So in step six, we are trying to make out what is to be understood. Isn't it? So in step five, we could see that we need right understanding to ensure right and natural feeling and thereby state of happiness in the self. So you could make out the need in step five. Now in step six A, what we are saying is that it is important to understand the feelings that are natural for me, the feelings that I want in continuity. So now I need to work out the feelings which are naturally acceptable to me. Now I need to work out the feelings which are naturally acceptable to me, which I need to understand so that I am happy in continuity. Now, here we are questioning ourselves. Which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? Feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition? What do you think? Feeling of harmony or feeling of disharmony? Feeling of coexistence or feeling of struggle? So as we could see in step four that it is me who decides the feeling. In step five, we try to make out what is the basis of this decision making. And then we are trying to make out that if I am going to decide my basis for decision making of the feeling, then which feelings are naturally acceptable to me and I have various choices. So let me ask myself, okay, so what is naturally acceptable to me? And this is something to be done by each one of us. Now, if you ask yourself, you'll see that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable and not opposition. Feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable and not disharmony. Feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable and not struggle. This is something that you have to conclude by your own observation and not just assume. Otherwise, it will again become some kind of assuming. Isn't it? And we could see that I need to rightly understand. If my assumption is right, then also my happiness is going to be temporary because the assumption can change sometime later. So, I need to understand and then I need to work out. And when I ask myself, then I'm able to see this. But again, take some time to observe. Don't just assume. So if you are able to observe, then we'll conclude that the feelings that are natural for me, that I want in continuity are feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony and feeling of coexistence. So this is the essence. Now, this is something that we have studied in the lecture also, that this is something as I need to contemplate upon. So I need to contemplate upon relationship. I need to understand harmony. I need to realize coexistence. And this comes as a proposal to us. Now here in this exercise, we are trying to directly observe it. Isn't it? So that it is no longer any kind of assumption, something that I have learned, something that I have remembered, something that I have memorized, not like that. It's something that I have observed within me very naturally. So I need to observe this now. Okay. And it's quite possible that through your own observation, you are able to come to this conclusion. So this is something that we are saying in step 6a. In step 6b, 
what we are saying is that therefore i need to ensure right understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence so this is something naturally acceptable to me so i need to understand this so first of all we ask what is naturally acceptable then we observe that yes these feelings are naturally acceptable and then i conclude for myself that i need to understand this isn't it so this essentially means that i need to contemplate upon relationship that is participation i need to understand harmony that is self organization and i need to realize the coexistence and that essentially means i need to realize the submergence of nature in space i need to understand the harmony that is the self organization in the four orders of nature i need to contemplate upon the relationship participation in the larger order of every unit so this is the conclusion that we draw in step 6 that i need to understand this i need to ensure the contemplation understanding and realization within the self and this is going to happen in the self by the self isn't it now we can relate the same thing to this diagram so here we have block b1 where we have the activities of knowing and here we have the activities of uh, imagination and here we have the activities of imagination now when the self is unguided then only these are active when the activities of block b1 are activated then the self is guided the block b2 is guided so the desire that is feeling is decided on the basis of block b1 that is right understanding that is feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence and this is the way it is to be there so i am able to realize the coexistence i am able to understand the harmony in nature i am able to contemplate on the participation in the larger order that is relationship and when this happens then the lower block is guided and thus we have coexistence harmony and justice guided senses health and profit at the level of comparing and we have goal and value guided sensation at the level of testing isn't it so this kind of shift we want to make and for this we are doing this exercise now let us take some example so for example we can see that feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to me if i have a feeling of opposition for someone even for a moment it is not acceptable to me naturally and i am in a state of unhappiness within at that moment does it happen with you or not now we might be observing the opposition mostly at the level of expression and somebody is shouting at me or i am shouting at somebody else right so <clears throat> now this is something that we can observe at the level of expression in our behavior now at a certain level we can also observe this uh, at the level of thought then further we can observe this at the level of feeling and now we can observe that whenever i have this feeling of opposition i feel unhappy isn't it for a single moment also if i have any feeling of opposition if i have any feeling of disharmony if i have any feeling of struggle in me i feel unhappy on the contrary if i have the feeling of relationship i have the feeling of harmony coexistence i feel happy so this way we can see that what is naturally acceptable to me is the feeling of coexistence if i have a feeling of struggle even for a moment it is not naturally acceptable to me and i am in a state of unhappiness within so we can contrast this now with what we are teaching to our children in the name of natural evolution today we are teaching that struggle for survival and survival of the fittest is there in this whole nature now you can see what kind of contradiction is a child carrying within oneself when we are giving such kinds of input the child is not able to accept naturally struggle for any moment and we are saying that this is something part and parcel of your existence if you are there this is going to be there now just see what kind of contradiction will it make in the child in the imagination isn't it so the child even if wants to fulfill the relationship with every uh, student of the class with family members with friends one is bound to think that no ultimately there is struggle so one gets into a doubt whether my intention is wrong or my assumption is wrong so i intend to make everyone happy but i am being told that they struggle for survival so if i make the other happy i will not survive i have to keep on struggling with the other so this kind of contradiction the child may be carrying with this kind of input so this is a very serious issue and that's why we need to observe it at a personal level and then take it further into education because by the very design of nature we do not want to struggle with each other we want to coexist with each other we want to live in harmony with each other we want to have the feeling of relationship with each other isn't it now with this now we will try to ensure right feeling 
the natural feeling which can lead to happiness every moment <clears throat> which can lead to happiness every moment in step 7 so in step 6a we are able to see that it is the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence which is naturally acceptable to me and not otherwise and then in step 6b we decided that i need to understand this i need to ensure the contemplation of relationship understanding of harmony and realization of coexistence within so in step 7a what we want to do is to ensure that at this moment i have the feeling of relationship and not the feeling of opposition so at the given moment i need to ensure that yes that is there in me i have the feeling of harmony and not the feeling of disharmony i have the feeling of coexistence and not the feeling of struggle now i need to ensure this from moment to moment within me now if i can ensure this at this moment then i can be in a state of harmony happiness within at this moment similarly if i can ensure this every moment i can be in a state of harmony happiness within every moment and i can be in a state of continuous happiness which is our coveted state which is our basic aspiration isn't it so to ensure continuity of happiness i need to go through this and in this process we'll see that two things are happening as we mentioned earlier i am developing my right understanding at the same time i am able to evaluate my old sanskars the conditioning that i was carrying within and they are getting replaced with right understanding right feeling isn't it so we started by saying that the basic aspiration is continuity of happiness but now we are able to see that to ensure continuity of happiness i need to uh, go through this i need to contemplate on the feeling I need to see which feelings are naturally acceptable to me, then contemplate on the right feeling. I need to understand the harmony of all the orders in nature. And finally, I need to realize the submergence of entire nature in space. And that's how I'm able to ensure the continuity of happiness in me. So by observing at this moment, I can conclude that if I am able to do this every moment, then the happiness will continue. So further in 7b, we are saying that as I'm able to So further in step 7b, we are saying that as I am able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence through 6b, I am able to decide in favor of the right feeling, that is relationship, harmony and coexistence in a very natural manner, okay, without any imposition. And I am comfortable, I am in harmony, I am in a state of happiness within. Therefore, I can see that when I am able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence completely, then only on the basis of my understanding, I will be able to decide my right feeling. And at this moment, the next moment, and thus every moment. And thus, I will be in a state of continuous happiness. So in step 6b, we are trying to ensure that I have this feeling every moment. So I need to develop myself by ensuring every moment, the understanding of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, and the feeling and thought of relationship, harmony, and coexistence. So you can now relate the content that we are discussing in the practice session to the one that we are discussing in the lecture. So in the lecture, we are getting the proposal. We are trying to verify. We are trying to validate in your living. And now in this exercise, we are trying to directly observe it so that further helps you in verification and self-evaluation. So with this, I can be in a state of continuous happiness within and I can also be a source of happiness for others. I hope you are able to relate steps one to seven, how progressively we are moving from one step to another step. And the basic proposal is the same, that it is ultimately the contemplation of relationship, understanding of harmony and realization of coexistence that develops the self and also ensures continuity of happiness. But to be there, I need to go through this exercise. I need to do this practice. And let me say again that this is one way and not the only way. But the coveted state is the same. The desired outcome is the same. The basic aspiration remains the same, isn't it? So now all the steps put together can be seen in this way. So summarily, if you observe all the seven steps, so in step one, what you have to do? You have to be aware, that is observe your imagination at this moment, your desire, that is to say feeling, your thought, your expectation at this moment without any reaction. In step two, you have to ask if the feeling that you have at this moment naturally acceptable to you or not. So is it natural for you? In step three, you have to ask that whether you are in harmony, happiness within, with the feeling that you have at this moment, or you are in disharmony. So you have to ask here. 
Now in step four, you have to ask yourself who decided the feeling that you have at this moment. Did you decide it or someone else decided it? Isn't it? Someone else or did you decide it or someone else or some situation decided it? And I think uh, by the practice that you have been doing so far, you are able to conclude that it is you who decided this, isn't it? But again, don't assume it to be true. You have to observe for yourself. Then step five, you have to ask on what basis did you decide the feeling you have at this moment? Did you decide it on the basis of understanding or on the basis of some assumption? So you'll see that when you decide on the basis of assumption, you are not happy. There is no definiteness. When you decide on the basis of understanding, then there is definiteness. So you ask yourself, which feelings are naturally acceptable to you? Feeling of relationship or opposition, harmony or disharmony, coexistence or struggle. And then you decide that we explore within. And then you decide that you have to explore within to understand the relationship, harmony and coexistence in its completeness in the context of whole nature, whole existence. So you are able to draw this conclusion. And then in step seven, you're trying to ensure the right feeling. So ensure that the feeling that you have at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence and not otherwise. On this basis, you are in a state of harmony, happiness at this moment. Now you are able to do this at a particular moment in step 7a and 7b, we are saying that ensure this every moment. So when I'm able to understand relationship, harmony and coexistence in its completeness, then I will be able to decide my feeling, my thought accordingly in a very natural manner. And I will always be comfortable within. I will be in a state of harmony and happiness in continuity. So you can see how this uh, progression takes place in your imagination, in your observation. And see, in the whole exercise, there is no need to take any help from the body, right? So you have to do this by yourself. So you can put the body in some comfortable position. Now, once you have gone through all the seven steps, you can go through all these steps every four hours and try to observe. We'll see that the steps that we have accomplished earlier, we are able to take care of them very naturally. But yes, in step one, you may need some time because not every moment you are able to observe the feeling. So spend some time observing the feeling. Once you are able to observe the feeling, then steps two, three and four are taken care of uh, somewhat naturally. And then in step five, you have to ask yourself what has been the basis of your feeling. And then in step six, you decide in favor of relationship, harmony and coexistence, and then try to ensure. Now you're going through multiple situations, circumstances in your life, isn't it? And then you have to test this. You have to apply this in every circumstance, every situation, and try to see that you are able to ensure your happiness in every situation or not. So you'll see that you get some fresh questions, fresh observations, and they will trigger your own old sun scars. And then you will have to again, look into these steps and try to find out what is naturally acceptable to you. And then you have to do this and you'll see that this becomes a kind of uh, natural process in you. You are able to do this very naturally. And the more you do this, you develop yourself. And this is what we essentially need to do as a human being. So as an outcome, what will happen if you look at the conclusion? So I am the consciousness, I am the self, and I'm observing myself. The consciousness is observing the consciousness. So I'm observing my imagination, and that is to say my desire, that is feeling, my thought, my expectation, every moment without any reaction, without evaluating it, without trying to change it, without uh, modifying it, imposing anything, just observing it just as it is. So in step one, you don't have to make any evaluation. You are doing this. Then step two, the feeling or the thought that I have at this moment, you are asking yourself, is it natural for me or not? Is it in accordance with human nature or not? Would you like its continuity or not? You are asking this to yourself. In step three, you are saying that the feeling, thought I have at this moment, am I comfortable within or uncomfortable within? In harmony within or contradiction within? Happiness within or unhappiness within? What is there? Then in step four, you are asking yourself, who decides the feeling, the thought that I have at this moment. And uh, you ask yourself, does someone else decide it for you? Some situation decided or you yourself decided it.
and you can conclude that this is some this is me only who decided this so we proposed the steps earlier and now we are trying to see how things will appear to you when you are going through this exercise so earlier we proposed the steps to you and now you are able to see how it will be when we are going through these steps so in step 5 you are asking yourself on what basis did i decide my feeling thought at this moment every moment is it on the base of my understanding or in the absence of understanding on the base of some preconditioning some assumption so you make out that when i decide on the base of understanding i am able to choose the right feeling but when i decide on the base of assumption or preconditioning it is not clear whether i choose the right feeling or something else then in step 6 you are trying to find out which feelings are natural for you in your relationship or opposition harmony or disharmony coexistence or struggle and then in step 6b you decide that i need to ensure right understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence its completeness in step 7a you are ensuring that the feeling that you have at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence so you decided to understand the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence and then now you are able to ensure that every thought every feeling that you have is in line with this isn't it if these feelings are ensured in continuity then will be in a state of harmony and happiness every moment and thus i can see that when i am able to understand relationship harmony and coexistence completely i will be able to decide my feeling accordingly and i will always be comfortable within in a state of harmony and happiness in continuity so this is the assignment for you that you have to practice all these seven steps every moment now i am not giving a separate assignment here from here i do expect that you are going to do this every moment and we'll see a qualitative shift in your living in your imagination in your behavior in your work if you are able to do this because you are able to see now that you are responsible solely for your happiness or unhappiness for your behavior or misbehavior for your conduct or misconduct isn't it and that's how you start owning the responsibility of your state of being without blaming anybody else without blaming any situation and you'll see that you have enough time to do this because when we are agitated within unhappy within we waste so much of time every day trying to borrow happiness from outside but gradually you'll see that with this exercise the happiness becomes your innate nature you are innately happy every moment once you are able to see this relationship harmony and coexistence you are innately happy every moment no need to borrow happiness from outside i hope you are able to understand this so the conclusion is that i the consciousness the self i am able to observe myself my imagination every moment i am able to observe the feelings which are natural to me of which i want the continuity with the natural feelings i am in harmony within in a state of happiness within now this is something that comes as an outcome one <clears throat> this comes as an outcome when you are able to accomplish all these steps in step 4 you are able to see that i myself decide the feeling that i have it means i am responsible for my own happiness or unhappiness i am completely responsible so i can get over complaining against others this is something that we highlighted earlier also that we get over complaining against others with this and i become willing to make effort for my self development for my own transformation in step 5 you are able to look into the basis for making the decision whether it is understanding or some assumption and then when you see that you decide the feeling on the base of understanding you are able to choose the natural feeling and you are comfortable within but when you decide on the base of some assumption it is not clear whether you will choose the natural feeling or not and thus it is indefinite so you feel the need to ensure the right understanding within yourself in step 6 the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable to me therefore to understand this is my basic need you are able to conclude this and in step 7 you are able to ensure the right feeling so by ensuring the feelings of relationship harmony and coexistence i will be in a state of happiness at this moment and ensuring this every moment i will be in a state of continuous happiness so by understanding relationship harmony and coexistence completely my feelings my thoughts will be naturally in line with relationship harmony and coexistence and i will always be in the state of continuous happiness so these are the conclusions that we can draw 
from all these seven steps. So we have discussed all the steps of exercise one, and now it is up to you to keep on practicing this. And I do hope you are going to do this because this is going to be quite valuable for you. So we have completed all the seven steps of exercise one now. And now the onus lies on you. You have to keep practicing this. The more you are able to do this, you get rid of your complaints, anxiety, frustration, dilemma, contradiction in thoughts. And you are able to choose the right feeling, which is going to ensure happiness in you. You are able to decide that it is you who is going to be responsible for your own happiness in the future at this moment, as well as for all time to come. And then you are able to decide in favor of relationship, harmony and coexistence every moment and live accordingly. And this is the transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness when we are able to live in accordance with our innate nature, isn't it? So keep on doing this. Try to do this every moment. Try to be aware every moment. This is an exercise for you, something to be carried forward in your life. So thank you. Uh, we'll now discuss exercise two in the next practice session.